Hello guys, I'm back with another educational video for you and this time I'm concentrating on the globe itself. Now did you know that there are zero evidence for to support a globe? Absolutely none and I checked, I couldn't find any. For the globe to work they need to prove five fundamental things and this video is entitled five things the globe could never ever prove so without any further ado let's get started and in no particular order here are the five things that the globe can never ever prove one water they tell us that water is the uh, the most abundant substance element uh, on earth they tell us that it covers 70 percent of the earth and they need to prove that water bends around a curve and forms into a hump over the oceans nobody has ever proven that to be true and the intellectually dishonest globers say the oceans follow the curvature the curve of the earth but they can't prove it water and liquids have certain qualities physics that nobody can debunk water flows from higher elevation and then it seeks its level and settles. Nobody can deny that. If you do, you are being dishonest. Simple water debunks the spinning basketball earth in the vacuum of space. Number two, gravity. Did you know that even in 2020, gravity is still a theory? It has never been proven. Some say it's a force, others say it isn't. Simply shouting, gravity, motherfucker, gravity and then dropping the mic is not going to cut it anymore. Even the meaning has been hijacked by the scientific scientists. Initially Sir Isaac Newton in his book called it gravitas which in Latin means to have weight. Therefore it is logical to conclude that when he saw the apple fall to the ground, he deduced that the, the weight of the apple was heavier than the air surrounding it. Therefore, it fell downwards to the ground. Makes logical sense, right? And also, gravity is uh, apparently it began with the Big Bang. So, if there's no gravity, then there's no Big Bang. Number three, parallax. The true definition of the meaning of parallax from dictionary.com, it says, the apparent displacement of an observed object due to a change in the position of the observer. Again, these bastards have uh, hijacked the meaning of the term and made it completely different. They say stars are moving with us in the heliocentric model. It's like uh, parallax, it's like looking at an object then covering one eye with your hand and 
doing the same with the other and you'll see a slight difference uh, in, the, in the object that you're looking at. You will have a di different perspective on the object, that's all. It's just simple as that. And in this example from uh, space.com, it gives you a diagram of how they calculate parallax, stellar parallax. They'll observe a star, for example, in June and take a reading and then wait six months for the Earth to orbit around the Sun uh, to a different position in the solar system and then take uh, another reading in December then calculate the angles and they say they can prove that the star is light years away that is bullshit because the Earth does not orbit around the Sun the Earth is stationary and they're mistaking the twinkling of the star for parallax. Stellar parallax is complete bollocks. It's all made up. Everywhere on the plain we see the same stars night in, night out. Each night, every night we see the same stars. That is impossible if we are moving in the, the solar system is moving, the galaxy is moving, the, the universe is expanding. We will surely we will see different stars. Stellar parallax is bollocks. Number four the spin of the earth. Did you know that nobody has ever proven the spin of the earth? There are no actual hard evidence for the spin of the basketball earth in space. Pendulums and gyroscopes are not hard evidence for the spin of the earth nor any faked CGI images from space, in quotation marks. The spinning of the Earth is one of the fundamental features of the, of the spinning globe, yet no proof. They can't show us any hard evidence. Only simpletons believe the Earth is spinning because they have been told that it is spinning. They can't think for themselves. They want somebody else to explain it and reassure them that the Earth is actually spinning. In 2020, there is no hard evidence for the spin of the Earth. Unless, of course, you want to believe in cartoons like this. Number 5. The Curvature of the Earth Did you know that the curvature has never ever been proven? Except, of course, in Hollywood special effects like these. Even NASA has documents highlighting that the curvature cannot be detected unless you are 250 miles above the ground. That is a fallacy in itself because nobody and nothing can get up, get up that, uh, that high. We don't possess any, any sort of craft that can navigate nor fly in the thin atmosphere at that altitude. This is also very deceptive from NASA because they know that there is no curvature to the Earth. They know that the Earth is a level, plain and stationary Earth. 
They spend all that money and faking space is another one of their aims, their jobs. Flat earthers have also debunked the radius of the earth, therefore the circumference of the earth. The earth is actually larger than what they say it is, therefore debunking the globe. There is absolutely zero evidence for the curvature of the earth. Well, you are probably thinking to yourself, they're showing the curvature, you dumbass. Well, you can believe that, of course. You can, it's up to you to believe that if you want. But I'm a realist. And I know that the earth is not a spinning basketball in the vacuum of space. <laughs>